So I had this crazy idea to take on the Frost Brute. Am I strong enough? We'll find out by the end of this episode. People say he's like the in-game boss right now. We'll see if he is. What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing LEGO Fortnite and before we kick off today's episode I want to thank you so much for your support. A lot of you have been using creator code Zach Scott Games, thank you for that. But also the first episode now has over 15,000 likes, it has over 760,000 views, that's incredible. I do thank you so much. This is my town, my village, it's level 10. Uh, today our goal is to start a village in the Frostlands and I've been scouting. And if you take a look at the map, uh, I've been scouting. I've been marking the caves now because sometimes the caves get revealed, sometimes they don't. I don't know if you guys are experiencing that. I'm in the grasslands now, uh, but down here the frostlands. And I found some caves. And what I was doing is trying to figure out where I can put villages that aren't going to be such a huge walk. Because my walk from this village that I'm at now all the way to my desert village is too far. And the Dry Valley village is too far. Grasslands... You know, it's a nice place. I have a ton of caves here, like within range, a ton of caves. I don't have to go in there that often, though. <laughs> but I do have a ton of caves. And uh, so I'm kind of wanting a closer desert village. And so I'm thinking maybe like right here. I found two caves here. See, one was revealed on the map over here. One wasn't. And uh, I just realized you can't see my mouse cursor. <laughs> but I'm showing it. <laughs> but anyway, I'm thinking about putting one right here. And then uh, if you go down in the Frostlands, there's like three caves in this area. So maybe putting a village there and then relocating or making a new Grasslands village, maybe right in here. So that way, because there's two caves there. Of course, there's a ton of caves over here. This is like a prime place for a village if you're really into the Grasslands caves. Ton of caves. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, very close. And then there's a seventh one up there. Uh, but I'm thinking about relocating it to somewhere around here so that I have quick What's more important is going to be able to go from village to village. I think so if I have two or three caves over in the frostlands uh, You know two caves here in the grasslands plus all these other legacy caves back over here Then and then like two caves over here in the dry valley Maybe more uh, if I go out further. I think that'll be a cool place to have um, Territory in my villages and I think that would be better uh, than what we have now. Here's something interesting. I don't know if you noticed this, uh, but the stacks have changed. Some items, not all of them, some items can stack all the way up to 50. I don't know how, how they decided which ones can stack. The bones can now stack to 50, so I have room in here. Uh, you know, the, the wood can stack to 50, but the rods cannot. The, f the uh, what else do we have here? What else was there? Oh yeah, these claws can stack to 50. Uh, the, this iron cannot stack to 50. I need to probably refine some iron today. Let's, let's do a stack of that. Maybe even two stacks of that to get that started. Um, and then what else was there? Yeah, just some things can stack. I think that can stack. Yes, yeah, that can now be 50. That's pretty cool. Frostwood's 50. My cursed bones right there. Uh, these, you know, the obsidian can stack to 50. Copper cannot. And I don't know how they decide. Uh, rough amber cannot. So I don't know. Looks like bright core can. Uh, the cut amber cannot either. And then uh, the cords, for whatever reason, can't. Spider webs can't. I don't know why. The vines can. But I don't know how they make the decision as to what can stack, what cannot. Uh, this, like the heavy wool thread can't stack. The wool thread can't stack to 50. So anyway, that's where we're at. Let's go ahead and start making some iron bars. Oh, I need bright core again. Bright core is like, for real, like it seems to be like the bottleneck for a lot of this stuff But let's make some iron bars. We're gonna need iron bars for further upgrades. So let's switch over here um, Just put in I guess we'll make Oh, we can actually put in more now. We can put in 36. Okay, we can put it. Oh, that's all I have is 36 So we're gonna need more bright core very soon, but I'm making these iron bars and uh, This guy's visiting I need to make another long sword, which is sad because I used it a lot. But I'm also hoping, holding out for a purple sword of some sort eventually. Because, I mean, I probably don't want to just make this, you know, buff this sword up a lot. I can just make one and just be happy with it for now. Maybe even give one to the Yeti. Um, so I need copper bars for that. And I actually have uh, 
only 23 copper bars. I need more bright core. Again, that's the thing holding me back is a lack of bright core. Um, but if I make another long sword, sure, I'll make one more. I need it. I'm not going to put anything in it. It's not going to have that much damage. I can't even make another one. Oh, well. Um, so I'm going to just, you know, where is it? I don't know which one. Here. I'm going to drop that on the floor. Yeti, you can have the one that I... I take this. You can have this long sword. It doesn't work. It's almost it's almost uh, broken. But this one, uh, take the take it, take it, take it. There you go. And then um, my pickaxe and this are still good. Uh, do I have a pur is, uh, is a purple bow available yet? I don't think so. A rec I need a recurve crossbow that's purple. So that's one thing. I need. But I have a backup, so that's okay. I have a lot of arrows. And let me just. I knew it. Yeah. Now, now they're open. I heard that. I heard that would happen. So now, uh, the new recipes, including you know a, a nice shovel, a basic shovel, ideal for digging up soil. Somehow that's a basic one. They're all basic, but this one's uh, you know rare. Uh, but also we got a new recurve crossbow and a recurve oh, and longsword. So we need iron bars for this awesome longsword. And uh, and then we also need anything new here. I probably moused over it or whatever really quickly. Um, yeah, I don't know what else is new. I need five curse bombs. Malachite turns out is found in in the you know oh, oh a knight shield that'd be good too. Uh, so I think we're ready to go. Uh, scout the scout the way. I have a, enough heals. I have things that'll work. I think that we're going to be good. I think that we're good. I have. A, I also have a. I don't really need the iron bars on me. Let me just. Let me just drop them off real quick. And then let's uh, focus on. If I'm going to build a new base, hold on. Do I have the stuff to make it? I do. I have granite and wood. That's a good start. And oh man, I'm just so worried that I won't have enough stuff. There, there'll be granite and wood around there. If I need marble, then yeah, I'll need I'll need to get marble or whatever. I don't know, but I have enough granite and wood to get started. So now that it's daytime, I'm gonna make the journey over there, and I think I we're gonna scout for a location uh, to make our base. And so let's get over there. I'm going uh, basically, I think down in this region right here. I was thinking about making a base right around here, which would make sense because it's close to my original base. Um. So let, let's start scouting there, because that might be a better answer. <laughs> that might actually be a better answer. <laughs> I didn't even think about it, but because uh, because look, if I if I do that, if you look on the map, if I were to build one here, that's pretty close, and I could just build one here, and I'd have. You can't see where I'm pointing. I I don't know why you can't see my mouse cursor. Uh, but between these two Dry Valley Ks right there, put a village there. That wouldn't be very far from my current village, and then if I could put a village somewhere over here, I just need to find more caves. There's a cave way down here. In the frostlands, but there's got to be other ones, right? I don't know. Let's go scout it out. All right, there is actually a brute over that way. I'm not going to mess with them. I'm going to go up on this mountain. I want to see what's up here. Um, I hope I have enough stuff to do it. Building parts, stairs. The problem with building stairs is that it's hard to say. Well, I could probably start up here. This would be interesting. If I just start up here, then maybe. Yeah, okay. Sure. That's really messy, but it works. Sort of. <laughs> sort of works. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Please. Yeti, move. Alright, sure. All right, and then just uh, jump over here. I don't know. This is this is a really interesting way to do it. I would say. Uh. Nope. 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 No. Okay. Pick that up really quick. There's no way I can fight that brute now, but I imagine when I eventually do, it'll be done with arrows. I can't really imagine trying to take him out any other way. And then, uh, basically what I'm looking for are more caves. There's, see, there's a grass cave over there. I don't know if caves make their way up here or not. 
Doesn't look like there's any Frostlands caves down this way, but I am super curious about what could be, you know, up here. Oh my gosh. No, thank you. No, thank you. I do not need to fight these things right now. No. Okay. Oh boy. Wow, that was super scary. What the heck was that about? Okay, that was not good. They just showed up out of nowhere. How do I even... You know what? Can they go away, please? Okay, they seem, they seem like they're going away. Please just stay away. Are they more aggressive than usual? Okay, this is perfect. <laughs> this is exactly how I meant it to be done. And then... <laughs> This is how you climb mountains or whatever. Hold on. No way. All right. Getting more and more up this mountain. But like I said, I don't know if this means there's anything up here. I haven't been on top of these mountains yet. I'm looking for the potential of like a cave. So far, I haven't really seen any, so. Uh, let's see. I am not seeing caves. Those scorpions, by the way, are super dangerous. They can sting you really quick. Uh, let's see. But you gotta think about what kind of resources you, you need access to in the Frostlands. And uh, so you need, there's Malachite right there. You need Malachite. You need, uh, you need access to the caves and then you need Malachite basically, so. And of course the wood or whatever. Malachite seems pretty good. Item recipe, Malachite slab. I might have all the resources now that are needed. Oh, there's another one. Great. It's a good thing I came this way. That brute being over there is not good. I'm, I might actually have to start, now that I'm in a much more dangerous area, thinking about having a, a town in a much more dangerous area. You know, you know what I'm saying. I don't, I don't honestly don't see any other extra caves around here. And none are on the map. I don't even know if caves can be up here. But my point was is that there are caves down here. There's like two, three caves down here. Good. That's, I'm going to need some more stuff. I wish there were more dry valley caves on this side. I only found two. I could have maybe gone further to the left, to the west there. But still, it's kind of a walk. There's so many caves in the grasslands here. It's really nice. Uh, but, you know. I could go... Well, we'll just see. Like I said, we're kind of exploring. Got Malachite. I'll push further back in really quick and see if there's, uh, you know, anything up here. It starts storming. That's going to be so annoying. Is it just going to snow or something? Got my hopes up for a second. I thought, oh, cave. Oh, it's not a cave at all. Problem with it being dark in this area is more enemies. And I guess it's not terrible, but it feels terrible. <laughs> being chased by those like bone wolves or whatever they're called in the cave the other episode was absolutely terrifying. Because I didn't know if I had what it took to handle them. I didn't believe I did. So, if there are no caves up here, again, I think we're kind of a little bit too far. 
One more Malachite. It's a necessity here. There's a lot of Malachite. I don't know if Malachite respawns like wood and you know and rocks seem to. Or granite seems to. The Malachite does seem a little more plentiful than amber unless they've just changed the rate recently. Uh, this is a purple though that we're mining with, so. We won't do it this episode, but I'm gonna need to get some more uh, bright core. Very soon. It's like the limiting factor, seemingly. That's what it feels like. For a second there, I thought that thunder was in real life. I was like, is that real thunder? forgot that I'm playing a game. But I'm leaving this in because, you know, I haven't I haven't mined Malachi before. Now I am. Look at me go. Oh, I thought, I thought, that, I thought that plant was going to be Malachite, honestly. I am cold. Man, what do you want me to do? I have a torch. I have, uh, like, three. I'm wearing a sweater. Look at me. <laughs> oh. Jeez, see, this is what I'm worried about. I don't want to fight wolves when I can barely see. I guess the higher you get, the worse it is. Now, there's a guy over there by a fire, staying warm. Good for him. I'm on top of a mountain. Don't see nothing. Uh, I guess what I want to do, and I don't think I'm going to find anything, but I want to go down this way. Torch the wolf, apparently. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Great. Yeah, okay. The thing is, these guys can chase you pretty well, but they won't really get you, seemingly. Oh, dear. Okay. This. I need to eat. Let me eat really quick. Let me build uh, some of these foundation blocks. Please tell me I'm not going to just be destroyed by wolves in a second here. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll just go up this way. And more Malachite. All right. Good to know that Malachite's here. In fact, I might as well just get it. Like, I don't, you know, the more time that I spend out in the dark roaming around, the worse it is I can run into something really scary. I'm not even 100% sure. I feel like, you know, we're in the early days of this game for sure. Like, things are just... Oh, shoot. Things are changing a little bit. Here and there. I wonder if I make Malachite slabs or whatever at, at back at home base, if that'll change anything. I can I can grab it. There we go. Um Hmm. <laughs> this sure, sure seems a little risky. Um but we're looking about me I want to go up into up north east here really quick and see if there's any crossland caves up in there because we kind of ruled out there's one down here but I didn't really go much further into this oh oh well that's fine now that's a drop right there hold on I want to do that this one's probably safe nailed it 
<laughs> Just eat some meat, not a big deal. Uh, this is a little bit safe. I don't know if it's like in Fortnite you can just build on the way down. I didn't even think about that. So just now. Oh, I don't really need snow berries. Alright. So. If there are caves in this direction, that will alleviate a lot of concerns that I have. But we're trying to find a nice little place to call home. All right, guys, there's one of the big brutes. He just took out a wolf. He's probably gonna find me if I stay here. Uh, update though, I gotta go. Uh, update, I didn't see any caves around this area. I see things like this, which get my hopes up, and I'm like, oh, that's not a cave. Uh, but no caves in this area, seemingly. Some guys are fighting over there, that's interesting. Uh, but no, uh, I didn't really see anything. No caves in this area. I can keep going. There's probably caves more in this area, but again, that gets me kind of far from where I want to be. Uh, especially when I feel like I just want to make a base here. <laughs> where there are three caves for sure nearby. Uh, some nice water. Uh, then I can make a base over here where there's two caves, and then maybe a base over here too where there's like another couple caves. Just a thought. Let me make my journey. That's a long way. But let me go. Okay. I stumbled upon this, and what I think is cool is that there's a statue up there. I've never seen that before in this game. Let's go check it out, see if that's anything special. Oh, there's someone to talk to. Cuddle team leader, I've seen, okay, wow. Hello. What's up? I can't take you with me though, unfortunately. Great to see you, no doubt you're an exciting adventurer. If, if, you look, if I look hard enough, I'm bound to find some rare gems. That's cool. Uh, well, you know what else there is, there's Whatever the heck this is. Search. Eh. Or heavy wool. I don't know. Heavy wool thread. Item recipe. I, what? Have I not? Okay. That one's been making it for me. Anything in here? Oh, yeah. I was going to look at that statue. Uh, How do I get up top? There we go. Look at this. I've never seen this before. At all. Anyway, I'm off. So we're coming up on another cave here, and I'm pretty sure this is a Frostlands cave, because if you look, it's nice. And what I like to do is I like to take, uh... Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I don't know if we can get this guy. We'll see. Good hit. That's just a regular one. What the heck? But we are in the front. Like, if we look, we are in the Frostlands. So, this is another Frostlands cave. And I like to just mark it as a rock. And then blue. That's the closest thing that looks like a cave. And confirm. And then, so, d just to double check, we'll go in. And then, uh, I guess if it's not, I'll destroy the marker. But it should be, yeah, it's a Frostlands cave. So, this is good news because that means there's like four Frostland Caves in the general area that I want to make a base. If you take a look at the map, there's one we're at now, then one, two, you know, the one over here. Um, if we're thinking about... You know, if we're, if we're thinking about how to make this... You know, maybe between these two would be fine. And yeah, if we get past these dogs, <laughs> there looks to be another cave over here too. So this is like really a prime spot to make a base because it'll probably take a while for these caves to get exhausted of all their materials. Um, so let's go ahead and mark this one. This one's clearly, it's nighttime, I hate that. What, well, I man, I've been having a lot more rubber banding too in, the, wow, in this game. Uh, do, do I? Okay, I'm going in. <laughs> I'm just going in. <laughs> Maybe you won't be there when we come out. Maybe you will be. But yeah, another Frost Against Cave. So great. Very cool, very cool. And so, there's like four in the area. That's wonderful. I need to scout a little bit more. I think that dog left. Let me build this. 
we would confirm. And I've just been doing that because they just don't get marked sometimes. But, uh, yeah, there's like four caves in this area. So, yeah, it's like making a ma like making a base like in the middle of these four would be a great way to do things. And then maybe just, you know, maybe making a base. I don't know, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I might need to scout out more this way, honestly. But I think uh, that's the real trick, isn't it? Trying to figure out if this is indeed the ideal place for me. It probably is. But I'm going to go uh, continue to explore, look for caves. What is that? Oh, those are skeletons. How hard are these guys? I haven't really confronted them yet. That's not too bad. Oh. Okay, it's bad because he has a shield. Yeah, he's got him. Run behind! And he also drops a shield, so. Oh boy, the dog's here. Hi, bud. I see you. I'm going to ignore you, though. Please let me live. <laughs> I think I can get away. Oh no, spiders. A lot of spiders. Oh, dog. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, jeez. The dog's here. Oh, great. Any, any treasure at all? There we go. Uh, if we need it, not a bad idea. Ow! Another treasure. More arrows. Give me this slurp juice. Where are we? So I need to go that way. Whoa! <laughs> okay. They're not that hard. It's just I don't really have my shield ready to go. And, you know, they could make these wolves harder if they wanted to. They do a lot of damage. That's pretty annoying. Uh, where are we? Yeah, okay. So I could see, I could definitely see my village being around here, honestly, because this would kind of put me in the center of those four caves. And it also gave me the snowy aesthetic. Because, like, some of the Frostlands isn't really even in that much snow. I'd have to look out for skeletons and stuff that attack us, but... Other than that, there's a lot of skeletons around here. Uh, other than that, should be fine. Yeah, and this is what I mean about the, uh, or, you know, or I, I don't have to be in the snow. I could, I could go in, like, the, the lightly covered, the, the grass that's lightly covered in snow. Lots of trees, I don't know. I just mostly running for, and yeah, so this is like a, kind of a transition area. Where like these dogs are here, like it's like two different dogs. One's difficult, one's not. Okay, so this cave right here, if I'm right, is a gra it, We are in the Frostlands now. So this, I also found some more caves up here. So, so I think like just north of where I am right now will be my next Grasslands base. But the Frostlands base is going to go between this one and the other three. So let's just find a spot that looks good while it's, we still have some good daylight. And then put it there. I kind of, I mean, just aesthetically, I I, I need to find like a, I, well, I would like to find a flatter area. This town, if I could just destroy this town, take it over. I might have a rival town next to me. That could be cool. Uh, but I, I'm thinking just, you know, somewhere, this frostlands are beautiful, especially when they're not quite in the this ice. But this is interesting because we have this guy here. Come here, come here. Uh, okay. Stay away, stay away. They know I, what I'm made of. They know not mess with me. Um, let's think about this for a second. So I could build it here. This wouldn't be bad. Honestly. Um, and this would be about in the middle, but I kind of want to... I mean, this looks good. A lot of woods. Part of me wants to just put it in the snow so that it like looks the part. But I honestly think that the closer I can get it to, if I put it over here, I'll be really close to my new village and then, you know, pretty close to my next village as well. So, I don't know. Just depends on how far we want to make it. Let me keep looking really quick. That was kind of a low point. And that might be what I really need is just a nice low point. Is this grass? This is grasslands, right? 
This is still technically Frostlands. Until when? Now we're in Grasslands. So we gotta be careful. We gotta be careful here. Which way am I going? Yeah. We're in Frostlands. Okay. <laughs> okay, so... If we, if we can get us up... Into this, you know, snowy area up here. Find an area that's relatively flat, like... I oh, see a brute's right over here. I can't face I can't face off against the brute right now. But this area is relatively flat here, you know, you see? Relatively. But I, I might be thinking about around here would be a good spot. And it doesn't need to be that big, honestly. We don't need a ton of territory to have a functioning base. But if we want to go for a little more of the aesthetic, also get yeah, see, I'm, now I'm really close to the caves. But another thing about the village is you want to be kind of close to the mountains so that you can get up there and get the Malachite when you need to. So it's a balancing act, you know? This area is looking pretty sweet, in my opinion. Like, we're just... You know, it's just kind of flat enough. The rainbow right over there. This area, I mean, it's... I, I, Whoa, that scorpion just took out that cow. There's no way I'm hitting that. Alright, so here's I do need to have this stop for a second here. Cut it out. Oh shoot, that guy's strong. I don't have my uh shield on right now. Hold on. Uh here we go. Whoa! There you go. That, there you go. There you go. We're okay. We're okay. Okay. Sorry. I w this area is looking pretty good is what I'm trying to get at. Um, it's a little not that level, but at the same time... Man, but still, if I get a little bit close, if I can somehow get into a nice valley area, that would be really ideal. This might be too close. Let's see, let's go a little bit further. Oh yeah, no, I think, yeah, yeah, exactly. I think this area is a little bit nicer over here. Even if, like, let's say I cut all these down. Not sure it's the best use of my sword, but let's say those vines don't need to be here. Oh, shoot. So we're talking about you know, making a village here. Even though none of it's level. Mm. Let's see, but let's see about down by the water. Sorry, this is like, I'm almost there. The ice appeals to me, but also, you know, I don't know if there's any place that's like really flat. This is really hilly. I could, you know, I could make it like a flat floor. Like, just kind of, I mean, not worry about it. But maybe that'll be for the future. This area is really... Yeah, this isn't a big enough area that's flat. It's not even really flat. Okay. We're almost there. We're almost decided. I think the place I just destroyed, you know, weed whacked, is going to be the place that we end up staying and making it. This area is also nice. It's basically the same area. There's a brute over there somewhere. I like the idea of actually being on the snow. Even though it kind of puts me a little bit... But again, that, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Let's not complain too much. Where was I? It was like right here, basically. I don't even know where that place was. Over here. Over here, this place. And this kind of puts me... This puts me in a good spot, I think. I don't really remember. 
Hope this isn't terrible for my sword. But this is kind of a clearing, right? This is where I want to be? I think this is it. I think this is it, where I want to be. We're really close to like one cave. And the other caves aren't that far. And it's a good view all around. Mountain in the background. I would say that this is it. And this is probably where I would do the central point. Let's uh, call it the village square, would ya? And can you move these? I don't even know. And then this is going to be a new town. Blue. Confirmed. We have established our third village in the game. And uh, I don't know what happens if I, if I were to destroy this. Need wood and granite. Easy upgrades to start us off. The first thing I would like to do to start us off is, you know, make a uh, fire. I don't know. Okay, so we're going to start off with a fire here, I think. Maybe just right here. There we go. And then uh, some sort of a shelter. A very basic shelter for now. Um, I'm talking about, I, honestly, I think I'm talking about like log cabin style. I just said like a little log shed, just like we did for the other one. Log sheds look really good in this area. Start us off, we need wood. Kind of what I'm talking about where it's like, jeez Louise, you scared me, dude. I saw her earlier and she's back now. Where's she going? Like, no, no, this is my place, no. I don't know what she's thinking. I can't know. I can't even see. Hold on. <laughs> what? Oh, there is no real center, I guess. I guess there's no real center here. Anyway, my point, uh, I wish you would move so I could build this. That's as far as I can move it. Is there no way to center this? Hi, cuddle team leader. Uh, oh, it's nighttime. We need beds and stuff. Um, okay. Let's just make a, uh, let's make a better thing, a, a wood, a log cabin, maybe? Man, see, all the builds are like, the hard thing was is trying to find like a place for this to be. Like if I build it here, sorry, I'm getting confused because like, boom, and it's so high. Not enough resources. Oh, of course there's not enough resources. Hold on. Oh, this is all wait, this is all gonna be Hold on, let me get some wood. Hi cuddle team leader. Glad you're here. We gotta at least have enough resources to start the thing. It's so cold. Here we go. Oh wow, that doesn't work. I don't know why that doesn't work. Oh, great. Skeletons. I'm starving, and it's cold. I just realized I'm starving. No, 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 no. No, no, no. In the back. In the back. There we go. I know I'm starving. I'll take care of it. I'm, don't you see what I'm doing? I'm fighting this guy. Brutal. Let's eat now. Starving. I'm cold. Red alert. All right. I'm not cold around this though. Um, and then. Um. Uh, man. 
If I just do a shack, that's an option. Are these not centered or something? Am I just being dumb about it? Like, I don't think there's a way to get this centered. I'd have to take a look at my... Neither, neither way is centered, which is really weird to me. Here, I'm standing on the fire. Neither way is centered. Anyway. Let's start off with the log cabin feature, log shed feature. Move. <laughs> Move. Ah. Move. So wait. Yeah, there's no way to center. Look at the door. There's no... Huh. I guess I just realized, or didn't realize, or something. Um, wait a second. Where am I? Which way is which? Sorry. So, I'm so sorry. This is taking so long. So this, I'm facing this way. So I wanted to go this way. Let me uh, let me break this for a second. Uh, let me ditch. That's not a bad sword. Let me ditch that for a second, really quick. Let me uh, break this open. Thank thanks. <laughs> what if you were wrong? And I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, so I think the fire needs to go here. Campfire provides warmth. Does it? <laughs> it does. And then uh, the shed. We'll just go right here, I guess. Although... Oh, it's so high. I don't really understand. Oh, this is going to be temporary, probably. All right. Start the build. Let's go. There you go. I'll get more wood in a second. Oh, my gosh. You did not just do that to me. Who did that, by the way? I think he evaporated, so. Okay. Let's go get more, while we're at it, while we're doing things, let me go get more wood. And I'm just talking about regular wood. Because, move. Is this frost wood here? I need regular wood. Is this frost wood? Let's see. This is frost wood. This is regular wood. Oh, inventory full. How's my inventory full? Oh, I have a lot of stuff. That's how. Um. Oh, here. Is this regular wood? This is all like frost wood. Okay. But then this is regular wood. All right. Let me uh, let me go uh, get some materials. I'll be right back. All right. I got like 150 wood. That should be pretty good to get started on this. Or to finish up this cabin, rather. Um, which, again, is not centered. <laughs> like I was hoping it would. But, um, and also, it's a little bit high. So, that's another thing I'm kind of worried about. But... Other than that, uh, it's okay. We'll we'll figure out. Not how I want it, it to be ideally. Open the door. Uh, continue building. Um, where? Yeah, there. Then for whatever reason, it's not symmetrical with the windows. There's a window here, a window there. And then we got this is going where? Rustic floor. Where? Oh, up here. I'm hungry. I'm always hungry. Um, yeah, the roof thing. Uh, right there. Sure. And then... 
We built one of these in the desert one that we had. One of these big roofs. Uh, there that were. And this is the last piece. No, one more piece. It's the top, the tippity top. And then this is our cabin. Now, obviously, what I'm struggling with is the fact that, you know, I have to jump up here to get in. Not terrible, I guess. Would ideally like to walk. But this is just a starter building. I'm thinking about, you know, maybe what ends up happening is I, is I eventually build this town elevated off the ground some. That could be interesting. But that would be, you know, once we're really into things. For now, we can just live with the fact that it's kind of separate. We can have a village look as opposed to just, you know, whatever. Uh, if I want to upgrade this town, which I do, boom. Frostlands Village, Starter Palace. What? That's awesome. Uh, that's a, whoa, Shogun design. Shogun Palace takes granite, frost, pine, wood, and this would be what a good thing to build with since it's all here. Of course, it takes both kinds of wood, which is interesting. Um, but the starter palace would be a good place to, you know, get started. <laughs> get started at the start. Uh, let's look at the walls. Yeah, these are awesome walls. And I think eventually what's going to need to happen, I think this is the village I'm going to focus on the most now that I'm here. Is because, well, oh, wow, those are cool. Show, those are really cool. Just because uh, this is kind of the, the end game for me. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at the walls. Until they release more content. Oh, that's a cool, an ancient bed. That's pretty cool. Uh, sure, let's put in some ancient beds in here. That, they'll work. Hold on, let's see. Um, yeah, right there. Just keep in mind, this is largely temporary. Uh, this is my bed. There we go. And then, uh, I don't think that she can maybe stay in the other one because the other guy's following me. You look like you're out on a grand adventure. Nice village you've got here. I think I'll stay the night. Hi there. As much as I'd love to see the world, it'd be nice to have somewhere to stay. Uh, live in my village. A spot that could be nice. Do you have a spot for me? Yes. Awesome. And then uh, if I get a little more frost, I could have him stay. Just so that he lives here for sure. But I need to probably upgrade. Here, you need to... Uh, shh, don't tell anyone I don't have a job. Whatever reality you're from, I'm happy to help. What can I do? Let's talk jobs. Help the village. Resource jobs. Refine wood, I guess. Lumber mill. Alright, so... As we're talking here, you know, I do want to be in a very similar situation as we were before with uh, the other one. And I guess, for now, I'll just stick with what I know. Which is building with the new, the new stuff would be nice to build with. And, uh, what are we looking at? Okay, builds. Sorry. Why not a palace? None of resources. I need granite to start off. Okay, that's fine. And then we'll see if we can get this to like a level three. Um, already I see granite. I don't know how much I'm actually gonna need, but granite's not a hard resource to come by for the moment. Especially since it's right here next to mine. Regular wood. We have plenty of regular wood. We'll probably use more frost wood. Alright. I think we're in a good spot to start off here. And I'm not super picky about it. Uh, for the moment, I'm not, at least. I'm a little annoyed that everything's so tall around here. Sure, that's fine. Start the build, good. This, in my mind, this is temporary. You 
There you go, looking good. Move! <laughs> Jeez. Alright. Good. Man, everything's up so high. Uh, oh, I need more frostwood. Okay, that's easy. Right here. Thankfully, this area is plentiful with frostwood. What the heck? What was that? Oh, shoot! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, dear. Sorry. Uh, why were you there? I don't know. And don't come back. Let that be a lesson. Alright, I know. It's cold. It's chilly. Let's get back by the fire. All right, what's up? Everything's built up so high. I have to take that into consideration for next time. Uh, wow, yeah. Build it. All right, there you go. More roof parts. All right, last but not least, the final pieces. That looks pretty cool. And then one piece in the middle. Oh, come on. Come on. They do, they do not make this easy to do. Ow. Build complete, starter palace. I can upgrade my town to, I need more knot root and more marble. See, marble was the other thing. I, I should have brought some, I knew I'd need it. So in order to upgrade to level three, I need marble. Sigh. The good news though, about marble, is that we really don't have to go. I was thinking like, I gotta go all the way back to my town, which isn't really that far. But really all I need to go do is go to one of these nearby caves. All right, I made it sound like easier. Like, oh, I just go to the, the nearest cave and I still have to mine it. So I don't know if this is easier, but <laughs> let's just mine some marble. I'm considering redoing that the town I just started so that there's a, it's a little flatter or something. I don't know. Do I need marble slabs or do I need marble? That's a great question. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, you get the idea. I just go to this cave, find the cave stuff. Uh, oh yeah, it's dark because I don't have my torch in my hand. There you go. Now it looks about how I like it. Um, do I even have an... I do have some inventory space here. Get out of here really quick. Oh, there's a bunch. Don't forget the feathers <laughs> and the knot root. Uh, yeah. All right, and then, um, so yeah, it takes like, what, four hits? Not bad. And then I'm gonna take this, along with some knot root, and probably just uh, bring it back in. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. He just saw me. I can't even sprint. I was already sprinting. Oh my gosh. That would freak me out. I think I'm safe though. So one thing to consider <laughs> about your village when you're building it, other than space, or other than, you know, uh, the fact that, you know, when you're here and you're building it, this snow is colder. <laughs> so maybe in the snow isn't quite ideal. Also, take a look at like all the different options. Like if you're looking, if you want to build a town, make sure that it's flat because apparently the areas I was wanting to build, like if you go back some, it just kind of ramps up. There's some spots that are like another object in the way. Like why? Why is, can I go down? Like I can go down like how do I lower it? I don't even know. Like I think some of it is just this is not a great spot for certain things cuz like some of it is low. Some of it's like not as flat as I as I initially thought it was. So I'm considering moving this. Um I'm considering moving this. This is my village 3. This will be an interesting test. Because I'm not so sure how this is going to pan out. But let's just say that I'm, like, I'm okay. This is fine. You know, this was good and all. But what if I don't want any of this here? What happens if I break this? Yeah, thanks, Yeti. Thank you, Yeti. She's like, what? What's up? I'm glad you're here. I want you to know that I'm thinking of leaving. How am I supposed to map out my trails without a village square as a starting point? If someone doesn't remedy this, I'm going to leave for another village. You'll need a village square if you want anyone to stay in your village. I'm going to leave Zach's house game village three in five days if things don't change. <laughs> okay, you got five days. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you gave me five days. So this village needs a village square. Now, do you, if you build the village square in the same area, It's fine, I guess. But I guess if you were to build it... Too close to another camp. That's interesting. I didn't even consider this being too close to another camp. Oh, dear. I didn't even consider this being too close to another camp. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Maybe I have to live there. <laughs> After all... Oh dear. What about right what about now? Too close to another camp. How f Okay, I can be here though. That's good. That's good to know. So where did I want to be? This area is about I thought this is it's not as cold here. But it's not snowy. So if I want to build another village square, I could do it here. Now Huh. There's a brute right next to this village. I don't know if it's the best idea. <laughs> uh, l let me just... Oh, jeez. I think I'd rather have... I think they're gonna fight in the background. I think I'd rather have this as an area. Oh, this is by the... Oh, this is an area I was looking before, but I decided not to. He just killed something over there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I could move it here. I kind of like it here, honestly. Um, I think I might stick stick here. I don't know. I don't know. I'm so confused. It's just I don't think that that the area that I chose was a great area to build in. In terms of just like. Everything being nice and flat. Okay, here's a little test. I'm gonna build it back. Okay. So, you can move the hub. As long as it's within your original hub's area. So, that, that bodes well for me. Maybe it's fine here. I do like the idea that it's in the snow. That makes it more appealing to me. This dude, the blue squire, wants to live here, I guess. Um, 
But oh yeah, but upgrade the village. I have. Oh, I need to not root too. <laughs> I left not root behind. <laughs> oh goodness. Let's put in a, a crafting bench in here. Uh, just so I have something. Yeah, that, that looks good. And let's also put in some uh, storage over here for me. I cannot believe I left not root behind. Killing me. Uh, wrong, wrong, there. Uh, sure. Yeah, for, for whatever reason, those aren't even at all. Why isn't that destroyed? There you go. Um. Yeah, why not there? What is in the way? Okay, so whatever. We'll put this here. Then we'll put the next one. I don't know why that's able to go back farther. Another thing that kind of bother bothers me about this game is that sometimes sometimes things just aren't in the right position it seems so um let's just drop off stuff that i know that i'm gonna i don't need immediately malachite being one i don't need that immediately iron don't need it immediately copper um heavy wool how, how about resources going one like some resources I, i'll need for sure so like frost pine wood oh, i'll need wood immediately marble sorry there you go and then the the other one will be uh, other things. I, oh, I don't need the marble right now. So, uh, I'm going to need to go. <laughs> it's so dumb. I'm going to need to go and get more. Um, I'm going to need to get not, not wood and marble. Alright, guys. You know, I had the crazy idea to see how much damage I could do to this guy by shooting him with an arrow. What do you, what do you guys think? Think it's a good idea? Ten. Go get him, Yeti. <laughs> if I have my village here. Oh, he's. Oh, jeez. He runs fast. Get him, Yeti. Yeti is actually quite formidable against this guy, too. Oh, shoot. Yeti, move. He's going to tear down the forest. Oh. Yeti, what are you doing back here? I think I'm doing alright. It's just the fact that he can run. So I... Whoa. Oh, but I have a... I, have a, I do have a limit on this. I do have a durability on this. This guy doesn't care. How much do you think is left? Half. We got him like half. Oh shoot! We got him like halfway down. This this thing's also about to break. I'm, we might actually do this. Okay. So really quick, put this back. Put this back. Thank you. This is like, supposedly like the the current in game right now. Go get him, Yeti. <laughs> Where did you even go? He's kind of blocked in from even hitting me because he's surrounded by trees. This is great. He's like kind of, I think he's kind of stuck in a way. I got, I got him. Stuck between these trees. Yeti keeps throwing himself at him. How much how much longer do you think I have? Now honestly, I'm going through a lot. Oh wow, we did it guys, we did it! I got a frost brute scale. I can make an inner fire charm, epic charm. That's good news. I'll take that arrow. That I mean that's basically. That's basically the hardest thing 
that there is to do in this game is beat that guy, and I did it, and I got a Frost Brute scale. Incredible. I do. I feel like I do want to make a town over here, too. Like, maybe I'll have two <laughs> towns. I don't know. Now that I took the Brute out of the, the area, maybe I, I it'll let me make one here. I don't know. I can make a big, tall bridge to, to, uh, to go up there to get Malachite. I don't know. This, this area is nice. <laughs> Alright. Well, uh, let's just focus on our other town for the moment. Let me go get the... Uh, I can't believe I beat him. I really can't believe I beat him. That's incredible. Uh, or not. Maybe it's not that big of a deal. The key was he was stuck between those trees. I feel like I could have beat him anyway. Also, I had multiple crossbows, a ton of arrows. I feel like I used like a hundred arrows. <laughs> Let's go get this uh, this frost scale deposit somewhere before I lose it. But uh, my town is where is it? Yeah, it's right over here. I feel like I do want another town. I don't know if I use them both. I don't think it really matters how many you have. I think you can have as many as you want. And then, hmm. Yeah, this village here. I don't know if we're gonna get, uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna get better than that. That was awesome. Uh, put that there, put my, yeah, my Frost Brute Scale. That was cool. Got one of those and I can make one of those charms. I can even look at it now. I still have to upgrade this one too. This crafting bench. Um. Yeah. Well, hey, you know what? We made the town. <laughs> we beat that guy. That was awesome. Um. I'll see you next time for more. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you gotta do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.